Hi, and welcome to our course, An Introduction to Team Foundation Server 2017. My name's Paul Hacker. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a software engineer. I've been working with TFS since 2005, roughly the same time it came out. I'm a conference speaker. I go all over the United States speaking at various conferences, code camps, and tech fests. I'm also a Microsoft MVP in the Visual Studio technology space. The Visual Studio Technologies program for the MVPs has changed over the years. It started out as a TFS MVP, turned into an ALM MVP, and now we are the Visual Studio Technology MVPs. And I've been in that program for about 10 years. So I'd like to give you a little bit of a roadmap about what we're going to cover in this course. There's a lot of material we're going to cover. And I like to break down a little each section or each volume as we call it and explain to you what we're going to, what's going to take place in each particular volume. So I'm just going to go over a high level of what the roadmap's about and then we'll dive into some details about it. In section one of volume one, we're going to talk about things like what is ALM? What is TFS? We're going to talk about the benefits of using TFS. The differences between TFS and VSTS. We'll talk about introducing some of the new features in TFS 2017. And then lastly, we'll talk about where does Visual Studio fit into the whole TFS ecosystem. We'll move on to section two in volume one, and that's when we're going to discuss the understanding of project collections. So we're going to work a lot with team projects and introducing you to process templates and introduction to team projects themselves. Uh, so again, that's that's all on the setup of, of the TFS infrastructure or project. Next, we're going to move on to the overall components of Team Foundation Server in Section 3, which is the last section in Volume 1. And that's where we're going to actually introduce you to all the different topics that we're going to talk about later in the course, such as Agile planning tools, developer tools, source control, testing in TFS, TFS build and release management. We're going to talk to each one of those at a very high level because later on in the course there will be a volume associated with each one of these topics that we'll dive deeper into it. So what are you going to learn? Well, you're going to have a working knowledge of Team Foundation Server 2017 when we're done. You're going to be able to define your process in TFS and put it into Team Foundation Server. You're going to understand and be able to develop some DevOps strategies. You're going to understand more about automated testing strategies and a lot more. We're, like I said, we're covering a lot of material here. Some of the prerequisites for this are you want to have a copy of Visual Studio Community Edition or higher. I strongly suggest you get the trial of Visual Studio Enterprise if you can. Um, it's, there is a 90-day trial. If you have the full version, great. And then lastly, an instance of TFS that you can work with, whether it be an on-premises, a cloud version, or the ALM VM, which is available, and we can talk more about that. That is, the ALM VM is created by Microsoft. It's a freely downloadable VM that's available in a Hyper-V image that you can mount and work with. So again, one of those three will help you out. And so with that, I'd like to wrap up the course overview, and I'd like to start jumping in and start teaching you all about what is TFS.